Yeah. Yeah, stop! Please. I'm sick. Square up. Put the camera down. Square up. And I mean it. I'm no, I mean it. Get up. I mean it. Get up. Let's go. I'm sick of this. Dedication. Spend your time wisely. Yeah, I know it's hard, but you gotta do it like Nike. Them benefits are lovely. That trophy mighty shiny. <laughs> Shout out to that mad nappy boy and even wifey. Ooh. God first, God bless. You know, you know. God first, God bless. You know. What up to all you mother fluffing nigglets across the world? How y'all doing? Appreciate you joining us on today's episode of Daily Dose. Lemonade, half passion tea, no ice, no strawberries. Real ninja formula. So I have been slacking on vlogging. I didn't vlog at all yesterday, so I don't know what we're gonna do for whatever yesterday's Daily Dose was, cause yeah, so Clip King is back. I've just been focusing on other areas, and sometimes it's hard you know to remember to vlog but it's not an excuse i just got to do better so i'm gonna update you guys on yesterday i hurt my hammies man or just one singular i hurt a hammy and it's embarrassing because i feel so weak now so i went to go play ball yesterday and before i went i told wifey i was like my body telling me don't do this but i don't like doing like other cardio i was like i need to get some cardio in my life man like i'm starting to like transition into I told y'all I was focused on working. Now we're focusing on work still, but slowly bringing in the gym back. I was like, I gotta get some cardio, man. Like, I just feel better when I do it, not while I'm doing it, but after I do it. And help burn fat, man. So I was like, I gotta get some cardio in. I went and played ball. My feet are killing me. It's to the point where I'm gonna, I need to make a doctor's appointment. Something is jacked up, broken in there. Like, my feet are horrible. They ain't never felt like this. And it's so weird, because I never felt this fragile in my life. I don't know if it's just years of, you know, working behind a computer whether it was marketing and then video games like i'm just not active and i know some of you older cats can probably relate because even if you're around my age you just because at one point i was an athlete i would consider myself an athlete right and i was athletic enough to be on, on uh, i was a d1 athlete so i've always my whole life growing up i would consider myself an athlete i don't feel athletic right now i mean there's the residue i got residue of being an athlete but it's just, I'm just so fragile now, like hurting my hammies, my feet hurt, my ankles finally a little bit better, like I didn't really feel it, you know, I hurt my ankles some weeks ago, and I didn't really feel pain in that when I was playing, but like, when I rotate, I can still kind of feel it, but like, it just takes me so long to heal, and it's crazy, so I don't know what I need to do, but I need to get my life together, because I want to go back to feeling like an athlete. You know, I'm so much better with my time management than years ago, so I think I can fit that in. Like, I wanna be moving, I wanna feel good, I need to slim down, cut up, and, get, you know, get my life back, so. But I, I swear I like pulled my hamstring, man. <laughs> it feels like every time I step on the court or to do something athletic, like, I hurt myself, and I, it's, it's such a foreign feeling because I'm not used to feeling like that. And I can't control it. I'm sure there's something I'm doing, whether it's diet, lack of exercise. That's my fault. But when I'm out there, you know, it, I can't control that I got this, like, D-Rose syndrome. But, yeah, that's definitely, hopefully you're, you're seeing this vlog. And, you know, by the end of this year, I just look, feel, and I'm just doing better as a whole, like, athletically. These challenges that we're doing, like, I, can, I feel like I can only do like the shooting challenges. I want to do, I want to get out there. The main reason I don't do like the wide receiver DB, I was going to do it with Coop. We didn't get time to do it. Even if we were going to do it, I was going to push through a lot of pain. I was in a lot more pain when he was out here. But yeah, the main reason I don't do it with like Juice or Flam or Trent is even with me only having residues of athleticness left, I don't think those would be close. I think... And I told y'all, and Juice has told y'all this, a basketball one-on-one -on -one wouldn't be close with me and Juice. The wide receiver DB, I don't think would be close with me and Juice because Juice might be a little bit faster than me right now. Just because I got weight to lose and stuff, but when I'm in his shape, I don't think Juice is faster than me. And, and even right now, he's not as quick as me. So stuff that's like lateral movement, that's never Juice's strength. He's like, I think he was a sprinter in high school, so he, he got some speed. You see it against Flam, but even Flam's able to shake him. You know what I mean? Trent was able to shake because that's not Juice's strength. Like the lateral stuff, and that is my strength. So, and then I got strength on Juice, so like I could like press him, keep him at the line for a while. I could shake him, and that's not to throw shade. I just don't think it would be competitive, so it wouldn't be like the most enjoyable video. And again, that's not like 
shade or anything like oh I whoop juice net. There's certain areas of athleticism that juice could probably get me and like he can jump higher than me, you know? So if we had like a dunk contest, juice can dunk. I can't dunk right now. So and then so for that it would be stupid for us to do a dunk contest. Juice can dunk, I can't. So you know what I mean? So I, I try I try not to do a lot of stuff where it's like you know who the winner is gonna be. The juice and flam flam called him out. There was trash talk that was good to do. Me and Coop Coop like played football and he actually suggested that me and him do it so I think that would be unknown but if I do something I know I'm gonna win like by a lot it's like I don't like I don't do me versus Trent or Juice in, in Madden you know cuz I try and do like throwbacks where me and Juice don't really play the game or and those are more for just nostalgia and going back and playing in many ways but some competitive like I try not to but I want to start getting into them we have a twist on how we're gonna do things with me and Juice that isn't just like that type of stuff. You'll say, I don't want to spoil it, but it'll be like more football and basketball challenges. And I want to be able to get out there, but I got hammy issues. I got thumb issues. I got feet issues, ankle issues. Like I'm old and I'm 26. I shouldn't feel like this. So we got to fix that. That's not good. But yeah, that was my day yesterday. I do got to show you guys my setup here eventually. Not today though, or maybe later, just not now. I'm about to get into some work. But yeah, I'll explain everything like the mixer and the two PCs on literally how many computers do we have in this room? We got one, two, the Mac, three, Juice has four and five. He had just one over there. Now he's got two. We don't know what we're going to do with the extra one. <sighs> yeah. I don't like this house no more. I want a new house. I, I need a better office. On I want to have a crazy setup like... I want to be able to have like four systems, you know what I mean? Four different systems. Kind of how we have the two systems. Oh yeah, we got the two TVs. Like it's a crazy setup. I don't I don't have like the best like YouTuber setup, but for the type of content and we have we have definitely have overkill. I'll say that like we can do some creative things here. So, and yeah. So yeah, it'll be fun. I'll explain it. It's not like a setup that you would need if you're like, hey man, I'm trying to get into YouTube. Y'all shouldn't even ask questions like that. At least to me. Because there's already answers on Google and YouTube. Like you search YouTube right now, how to start a YouTube channel. Like they're going to give you all the equipment. There's videos that tell you the basics you need. And I don't have anything different to say. So yeah, I get that question a lot. Don't, that's not a good question to ask. What editing software should I use? That's not a good question to ask. Like those are real basic things, you know, but yeah. That's a whole nother rant. I'm going to peace out. Get to work. Check in with y'all later. Clip King is back. I suck. I know. I'm sorry. My camera was dead and I had to charge it. So, Lyric had dance. You guys know that. The Hollet people came. Don't eat my salad, dog. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah. 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 My clean garage. Chrissy just came and got my truck so she could take, go pick the kids up and take them to jujitsu. I am gonna do that eventually. Right now though, I am going to enjoy my lunch and watch this week's episode of SVU because I've been watching Umizoomi and Paw Patrol and listening to Lyric talk all day. Love her. She snapchatted a bunch of people like got a picture from the camera roll colored on it slapped an ABQ filter on it And then sent it to a bunch of my friends on snapchat and then also sent it to Dre and Michelle from basketball wives DJ Khaled and Gabrielle Union Wade not like they'll see it, but What how do you? <sighs> She's crazy. So yeah, I am eating some grass. It's actually really good grass. It's like kale and red cabbage and all kinds of other superfood deliciousness. I'm doing really good with my diet. You guys should be proud of me. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I've been crushing this diet like a boss. I didn't get a chance to tell you guys what happened to the girl's bed. And I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna show you. <laughs> I won't forget though. I forgot yesterday and by the time I went to do it, Lavelle was like passed out in there like on the floor. So I was like, I didn't wanna like go in there and like turn the lights on and like wake her up and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this salad. What? Say what up to Daily Dose? And I'll talk to you guys later. Quick question. I'm, 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 I've am I'm been meditating on something for a long time. I, I might have mentioned this, I can't remember, but I wanna do something. I don't know when. A lot of this will depend on your guys' answers. I'm 
thinking, and again, this ain't 100%, but it might happen. Some of y'all gotta tweet me when this goes live, your answers. Please put it in the comment section though. And if you're gonna tweet me too. A lot of y'all tweet me and don't put comments, which is cool. Remember, the comments on videos help. So if you guys wanna support the most you can in everything we do, Leave a like, leave a comment, and share. I don't know, I guess favorite too. Every video that you like, of course. I don't want you guys to like if you don't like the content, but YouTube looks at that, the engagement. So you wonder why some videos are like suggested to you and get out more. It's because YouTube factors in the engagement, of course, the watch time on it. So, you know, watch it to the end. I mean, I'm not asking you to sit through like the ad or anything, but if you just like the video, just take the time, like, leave a comment, you can share it. All that stuff, because YouTube looks at it like, okay, this video's got some engagement. It must mean something. And, you know, it'll suggest it and share it with more people. But leave a comment, too, just for my analysisism. But some of y'all got to tweet me, too, because I don't get to check. Sometimes I forget to check comments on every video, and this can't be one that I forget. I'm thinking of doing, like, a little mastermind. I don't know exactly how I would run it. I would... This is early in the thought process, but it would be a collective of people that want to get together, share knowledge, help each other grow. Of course, I would run it. I would be dropping gems in there on the regular, and I don't know what direction I want to do it. I don't know if I want to have multiple ones. So maybe I have a YouTube mastermind that's full of YouTubers. I have another one that's full of business folks, entrepreneurs, people that are interested in marketing, stuff like that. I might have a different one that's a book club, you know, people that read different books, we share our thoughts, grow, ideas, what we got out of books. It wouldn't be no fiction books. I'm talking like nonfiction, all them books you see back there type stuff. Uh, we'd maybe read like a book a week. And if you didn't get a chance to read the book, I'd cover like the notes. If I, you know, I'd read it and, and share it. And here's the thing though, these probably wouldn't be for youngsters. This isn't, there's two ways of doing it. One, it could be, and I might have multiple ones. Some might be 100% where you guys like leech off me. And I don't mean leech in a bad way. It's where just straight student, teacher, y'all learn, cool. And then some would be more of a collective, a mastermind where we're all in, inputting. And I'd reach out, maybe I have people that I can get this further along in me in certain areas. And then some of you guys might be further along with than me in certain areas and we could still all grow together. So there'd be different ones. And that's why I said it, it really wouldn't be for youngsters, but that's not all, all true. If it was the straight leeching student, and I don't want to use leech because that might, you guys might be thinking that's bad. I don't mean that in a bad way. If it was more just straight student teacher, that's not bad if you're young. And I'm not saying young people can't provide value, but the, the amount of you guys that could in the areas that I want to have this, you just might not have the experience or the time and to, to have invested the knowledge in that area so i don't we wouldn't want any dead weight in the ones where it's a collective right and also i say it's not for young people because it's 100 percent going to be uh something you got to pay for why do i say that and this is advice for you too and you guys hold on to this you got you got to be careful with the things that you allow into your life and the things that you do because you don't want to put too many things in your life that's going to now i'm using leech in a bad way it's going to like leech and just suck positive energy from you and so I'm blessed to be in a point in my life where I don't have to do things for money that I don't like. I'm blessed in that area. There was a time where I had a job I didn't really like, but I had to pay bills, so I had to do it. Now, I'm not there, I'm not there anymore. And so, especially for free, I'm not going to do things that would be a hassle, that would be an inconvenience, that would be frustrating. And a group like this, when it's free, when there's no barrier of entry, you get people in that aren't serious about it and it would be dead weight. Even if it was a straight student teacher environment, if I made you pay, you're gonna take it serious. Now I don't really, this wouldn't be something right now that like, I would be doing to get rich. So I wouldn't try to charge a lot, but I would charge enough to where it just, like it wouldn't be a dollar. I doubt it would be 10. Right now the number in my head is flying, flying in my head is $20. Even when I was broke, I could pull some strings, I could sacrifice, I could ask people and I could come up with $20. And don't let it be an entrepreneurial group. And you're telling me you can't come up with $20? I don't care what your situation is. You probably don't have the heart, and this is harsh, but there's like this new fad, like everyone wants to be an entrepreneur because it sounds cool and it looks fun. You probably don't have what it takes if you can't come up with $20. And I'm not saying on demand, but maybe it takes you a month. Maybe it takes you longer. But if you can't reach out to people and you know, humble yourself and ask or start mowing lawns or start doing something to get $20, I don't know if I'd want you an entrepreneurial one, right? Um, but I might have other ones. Uh, might have we might have like a spiritual one. I might not charge as much for that. I don't know if I do that one for free. You know, I don't know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm spitting off the cup. This is raw. I'm just, it's it's a thought I've kind of had for a while. 
and I just kind of kept it in the back of my head, but it's something I really want to do. And I don't know, maybe there's different price points for different ones. Maybe it's something that's like, there's a bunch of us that have legit business experience and not just people that starting businesses, people that kind of know what they're doing. That one might be more. Right, people that already have money, want to make money, want to throw ideas out. And maybe you find business partners within this group. The YouTuber one, you know, it's more maybe more inside information. You can find people to collaborate. 100% this won't be a thing you can just pay to collab with me. So I don't know that I would do collabs within the group, but I'd share you guys. You guys would get more insider knowledge, more direct questions. Oh, this is a business call. I got to answer this. But yeah, that's my thought. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Leave it in the comment section. Let me know the specific group you would want to join. Like, hey, man, I'd be down for a book club. I'd be down for this. Just know you will have to pay. You think your daddy's funny? He's not funny. Your daddy's not funny. He's not funny. No, he talks too much, huh? He still just be running his mouth. Daddy's not funny, huh? I'm not the only one. He's not like, funny. Nah. <laughs> Daddy ain't funny. Checking in, y'all. Clip King Juice. How many clips you got today? Bagel. Bagel? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. He ain't Clip King. I'm Clip King. Dude. Got a nappy boy. Nah, I'm Clip Nap King. Nap King. I'm Clip King. I've, I have. You need to clip them naps. <laughs> yeah, you need to clip those. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so I thought. Chump. Go ahead, vlog. Alright, uh, what do you want me to vlog about? Hey guys, I'm about to vlog. I don't get a vlog often, so what I have to do is how to make it worth it. Ooh, after we record. The day would be over. The day would be over. He wants to see this. He's trying to interrupt my clip so he can get his clip. That's what you call Clip Junior right there. Look at this. Right there. Is that good? I think this is slowly falling. Oh snap! Talk about quality. Yeah. Heck are you <laughs> doing, Trent? What is that? Are uh, you even recording? No. You stupid. <laughs> I exposed you. Should I beat him up right now? I think I'm about to do it on camera, guys. I I got the juice. I I I can't. Hold me back. I'm evolving. I'm a beast. Are <laughs> you? You. It's a bird. Do y'all stop? It's the Clip King over here. Clip Junior over here. Clip Junior. Look at you, Trent. Look at you. <laughs> Extra for no reason. <laughs> Give me my stuff. Get your head off my thigh. Whoa. Whoa. Thigh toucher exposed. Exposed. Expose you touch thighs. You touch thighs. Wait, really? I touched his Whoa! The true thigh toucher is exposed. His thighs are right here. How am I gonna touch his thighs? I touched his calf. His thighs narrow, it probably felt like his calf. Nah, you weren't laying flat on the ground either, fam. You rested your head on my thigh right here. Whoa! Yeah, he his hammies. So, so that's even closer he to the butt cheek. So you was on the hammies, Trent? I was on the calf. You rest your head on the hammies? Yeah, you want to talk about thighs right now? That's close to the butt cheeks. I'm about to break it down to you what thighs are. This is in the front, right? Because I got shorts under. Whoa. All right, look. Head by the hammies looking boy. You look like a head and hammies type hey, you ninja, Trent. Like thighs gotta do. Wow. Nah, you done. You done. <laughs> We got a new nickname for Trent, Young Hammy Head. <laughs> Young Head Hammy. I got a new nickname is Daily. In this street, yeah, and all of them ain't good. 
No, not this again. I'm out. No, Dia, stop. You're not going to be able to record me if I do this. You weak man is far. Not if I do this, Dia. Ow. Dia, hold on. Stop. If I wrap my whole body around. My first vlog of the day. Yeah, man. After yesterday, Matt put me on to something called focused work. So that's pretty much what I've been on like all day. Barely been on Twitter. Barely been messaging people. I got one video done for tomorrow. Got to do a Rainbow Six and then Daily Dose, which for me is a good place to be chilling right now because definitely the Rainbow Sixes are quick videos and so are Daily Dose. So I got the most complicated video the one that'll take the longest to render all that good stuff out the way so i've been editing all day i'm about to take a quick little break probably have brianna stop by and yeah play some madden you know work on the stuff that he just showed me and then we back on it probably I'll probably make tonight a late night thinking as i got i got a couple other things i got to do that are going to be a burden if i don't just get them done i got 12 cooking videos to do man i thought i did more than that but i got 12 of them things so it makes sense to get at least six Six done tonight and the other six in the morning. I don't know how I'm about to handle this. But yeah, that's what I've been on. First vlog of the day. I have more. Especially if Brianna comes. So yeah, I'll be back at y'all later. Just dropped Trento off, but we made it to the gym. Gonna get a quick workout in before they close. I wasn't even prepared. I wasn't even gonna go to the gym, but I was out. Dropped him off. I just kept driving. I didn't even look back. I was like, Fluffy, just go. Just go. That way I can... Gotta get the workout in for the day. Dang it. Okay. Let's talk about this bed. I feel like I told you guys about the directions and how they had to send me custom directions because none of the directions that I got had anything to do with the bed that I ordered. Well, delivery dudes that came back put it together, but we're missing hardware. The hardware that we're missing... <laughs> is for Vel's staircase to get up to her bed and for Ray's ladder to get up to her bed. So like this right here goes like here, that goes back there and then obviously this is like the staircase. I mean, it's legit, it's dope, <laughs> but kind of gone through a lot more than I expected to go through to have it. And like when I say like missing a lot of pieces, I mean like a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of screws missing that we need to like, make it work. It's been a very frustrating process. <laughs> you guys already know how frustrated I was that I ended up waiting too long to even order it. I didn't expect it to take a month to come, but it's here and it's a blessing that we were able to get them something like this because it's something that's gonna last them a while. So, you know, for now. Now, they're just got their mattresses in their other two rooms. Ray's in here. She's asleep already. But, yeah. It's just, it's been so frustrating. <laughs> and then as far as my health is concerned, still not in as good a shape as I'd, I'd like to be. But what I'm trying to do is just keep my, keep my, keep my mind right, like, Cause it's rough, like having three kids and then other stuff to do and responsibilities and everything and then to be in pain and be tired and all that, it's like, ah. So um, with fibro can come anxiety and depression and all this stuff and I can't let it get the best of me. I just, I can't, I refuse. So hope you guys don't look at it as complaining. 
just trying to keep you guys updated because I am in the middle of the biggest flare that, that I've ever had <laughs> since I've had fibro. <laughs> so I've literally been flaring for weeks and it hasn't been a good time. It's gonna be okay, slowly but surely. I'm making it work, I'm trying to get get used to certain pains and just push through stuff. But And I'm waiting on Chrissy to have a baby. She's just taking her time. Like, I don't wanna meet the baby. <laughs> she probably threw something at the TV. Hopefully by the time she sees this, he's here. So yeah, he's due on Saturday. Little Montana baby. I got him a super cute outfit and then this cool like elephant thing. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow because I don't feel like walking back downstairs, but I'm gonna take it to their house tomorrow morning and go like just hang out with her, spend some time because she's miserable. And I, oh my gosh, my girl, man, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> I know she's just ready for him to be here. She's had a really rough time and she's just been such a trooper. So I'm gonna go over there and visit, keep her company so I can make her giggle, take her mind off of the fact that she hasn't had a baby yet. I hope he doesn't come on Saturday though. I really, I really, I really hope he comes like tomorrow or Sunday. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> but because Vel's competition is Saturday and like it's all day. Like there's nothing, I can't, I'm unavailable all day on Saturday. So, and because it's winter, baby Camille can't go to like the hospital with them and just, you know, kick it at the hospital. So. We're gonna keep her while they're at the hospital. So it would just be more convenient <laughs> if he came on Sunday. But no later than Sunday, cause I feel bad for her. Even if he came tonight, or first thing in the morning. I just, just not, not Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sleepy. I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep though. <laughs> cause I'm hurting and I'm still waiting on this new, um, new medicine that we're gonna that I'm gonna try. So I've been like in pain with like no relief, which which sucks. So I'm gonna try and like take like a hot shower, see if that like loosens up my muscles a little bit, and then and then lay it down. And I'm at you guys in the morning. Still working on laundry. I spent most of the day drying my comforter because freaking Dax peed on like the corner of it and I was pissed off. So, but it's like thick and nice and like so. It took a while to dry. So I gotta get the laundry done tomorrow cause I'll be at competition all day on Saturday. I can't record at competition, so that's why I included the dress rehearsal footage, which I hope you guys loved as much as I did. Oh my gosh, Lavelle's adorable. And it's cool cause she's kind of got to do her own thing. Like Ray got to like have dance as her thing for a while, you know, and just kind of have the spotlight. So now Belle kind of gets to have the spotlight. My TV on pause, sorry, that freaked me out. And so yeah, I think it's cool. And then Vela's competition like every month until May. And then all three of them have recital. And then it's summer break. And then come August, all of them are in competition and in their normal classes. So we gotta get this flaring under control because I have a lot of kids that do a lot of things. Somebody commented on the eight ball pool mobile video. If you guys don't watch the mobile videos on the Let's Play channel and you think Dion is funny, you should watch him because other people that think he's funny like him. He gets on my nerves, but everybody else thinks he's funny. Somebody commented and said something inappropriate and then followed that up with saying that they would love to scratch my scalp and feed me Cheetos. Is that like a new thing? Is that like, is that what girls like, that's what they aspire to have? Like they wanna do that's gonna scratch their scalp and, and feed them processed food. Like that's, that's what's cool in the streets. I thought that was really weird. Creep me out a little bit. If you're watching this, I think you're a weirdo. Keeping it real. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I love you guys. Till the morning. What up y'all? So Brianna ended up not coming over. So I am just working on videos. About to start moving daily dose clips and knock out daily dose. And I think I'm gonna get up early in the morning to do the cooking videos. Try to get as many as I can done, man. Those things take a lot longer than I feel like they should. So yeah, we'll see, man. I might do some tonight. Might do some in the morning. And the smart thing is to do some tonight. So yeah. About to eat this leftover pizza though. You know, today's been, eh, I guess. Got a lot done, I can say that though. But. 
working? That should be, I guess. I don't even know if this pizza's still good. This will find out after I eat it, huh? But yeah, I'll be back with an outro and some other stuff. Okay, so I just finished full game Friday. It's 2 a.m. I fluffed up. I, I didn't want to be going to sleep this late, but I had to, man. I don't like waking up and doing videos the same day. But I was in the middle of recording full game Friday, and then I had Ray come in. She had a bad dream, so I had to dust a ninja with, you know, Lorraine on my lap. But it was good. It's a good episode. If you guys didn't check it out, maverick.com. It'll be the episode with the Steelers. And there is some heat in that. Literally, some blitzes. The offense is good. I might have to switch to the Steelers playbook. It looks fun. Can't believe I ain't really, like, gave it a serious look this year. Yeah, yeah. It, cause it seems like, like a better version of Arizona, which is kind of what was just... I think where I'm running for now, but but uh yeah, I'm going to edit this. So it's rendering while your boys sleep. Then I might do one run of H1Z1, man. I've been kind of hooked on that lately. And then we gonna go to bed. You hungry, Juice? Nah, no. All right, he ain't hear me good. Ooh, maybe I do. So you ain't hungry, Juice? No. You ain't hungry? Today's my last day, man. Wifey ain't gonna let me eat fast food after today. I was thinking about it, but if you're not hungry, I'm not hungry. I need something to drink, man. I ain't got nothing in the house. Oh. So I'll be like surprised and maybe a Sprite. I should not be eating at 2 a.m., but wifey's like serious. She's cooking. She's like, you ain't eating no more fast food ever. So I either gotta sneak and do it. <laughs> Which I'd be feeling bad doing it, so I'm just not gonna be eating much fast food. Which I shouldn't be doing anyway, because we're, we're supposed to be eating healthy, and she's been doing great. I'm just, I struggle with that, and so I got my, we set up the perfect game plan for me. It's nice and slow pace, and a slow improvement, and then I'll catch up to her. I'm not even that, I'm, I'm, I'm barely hungry, but I just feel like I want to do it, because it's like my last supper. On a scale from 1 to 10, how bad do you want to go get something to drink? Nine and a half? Oh, it's up there. All right, I'll take some. I'll text you. Dang it. This will probably be my last vlog, y'all. I'm gonna literally uh, edit this video, eat this food, maybe hit H1, and then lay it down. So, probably won't hear again from me. Me and Ray, Ray gonna be laying it down soon. This is what I am on right now. It's the latest fluff, I'm tired. So I think I'm gonna just finish this one and go to sleep. And then two man, I don't think that pizza was good. My stomach on a bajillion. I don't think that pizza was good, man. It may be all mental too, it might've been good, but I psyched myself out by telling myself I didn't think it was good. Pretty chill day today, man. Got a lot done. So I would say we bounced back pretty strong from yesterday. Gotta keep it up, man. No more fluff ups, no more. Can't be doing this. Can't be putting myself through this dress. And it's little things, little little things I'll be messing up on. But from here on out, we strong. No more fluff ups, man. I'm gonna be, I gotta get better with time management. I keep saying it and then like, slowly doing it. Like that's gotta be something, that's gotta be on top of the priority list. It's getting better with my time management. But I think I've been doing that. It's late now, but the cooking videos Kind of took me a little longer than expected. I still have something to do. So, cooking video season kind of messes stuff up. We're we going to stay focused. We're going to get it done, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with us. And until next time, God first. God bless. I think that, had to, that, that wasn't as smooth as it could have been. God first, God bless, Keen